Hi, welcome to Radan's Food Stop. I am going to talk about what we are going to talk about in this restaurant. I am going to talk about what we are going to talk about. Chennai is the most famous colleges. Layala, WCC. There are two places in Sterling Club. Crisp Cafe. Let's talk about this. Hi, I am Ravi. I am going to talk about Crisp Cafe. It's a multi-cousin restaurant. If you look at the varieties, you can see American, Mexican, Chinese, Jamaican, Continental items, Italian, etc. What you can see here is our specialty. We use only olive oil for cooking. In this restaurant, we attract youth and foreigners. We also attract our sinisters. We also have an ideal spot for them. We have a special thing. In this crisp cafe, we have a special uniqueness. What is the name? This is the owner, Ms. Pooja. How many take it? It's a very well-rounded cafe for sure. It's like a crisp, like something is crisp, a place will be crisp. It's one of those words that people use as well to describe something positive, like something that is good, something that people are happy with, not overtly like, you know. What's really unique about the restaurant is our products. I'm actually a qualified pastry chef. When I came here, I knew what I wanted to start. I was able to create what I wanted to create. With whatever, with the good team. So it's made in house, uh, yeah. but I make it the first time, show how it's made, and then people, we, I get trained so people here to show. The interiors were done with uh, keeping in mind a very rustic look. We have food courts everywhere, and we promote the celebration of food over here. We do a lot of mashups, like our brownie cookie dessert called the Brookie, uh, red velvet pancakes. We do Nutella marshmallow grill sandwich. Our main course is also a very um, things like uh, sweet potato French fries. Okay. Uh, those are the kind of things that we like to make over here. We also like to do it in such a way that it's not overly expensive. Initially, when I started, only like college students or students, like young and crowd would come, but we have people of all age groups coming. Uh, so that's what is the idea of Chris and uh, like I was telling you we do have a lot of cake shakes available that's our speciality at least that's how it started when we started Chris but what's happened is that uh, our red velvet pancakes have become extremely popular right now and that's become a signature dish so people keep coming here for that and it's a proper we kept, kept stuck to the classic red velvet cake but in a pancake form so it's served with cream cheese frosting and maple syrup. If you go online, you'd see these funny quotes and you, you have a lot of people who can relate to it. And I wanted to create a place where everyone could relate to it more than anything. And I found myself relating to this kind of a situation a lot. So I thought I'm sure there'll be a lot more people who relate it the same way. So like I said, our mats also have a message on it. So even when you eat your food, you know that there is a message that tells you that, you know, celebrating what you're doing. So if you actually order one of our drinks, or one of our jars, you see there's a message on the jar also. Uh, and that's also one of the, actually if you go on Instagram and all that, you see that's one of the maximum photos that's taken out of our jars over here. That's one of the other specialties of ours. So it all comes together really well. Even if our menu, the first thing you open, we, we uh, try to connect a lot to this generation with a lot of the hashtags, a lot of the um, promotion only. We haven't done any promotion on newspapers or anything. It's been entirely on Instagram. Come visit Crisp. <laughs> You know, that's it. In this episode, we have a lot of great wishes in this restaurant. Out of the city, you can try to try to try to try to try to try to try. I'm sure it's going to be a treat for your taste buds. If you know about this restaurant, please like, share and subscribe to Tad and Foodies.